Lions fans! Oh shit! <laughs> I got on the wrong shirt! <laughs> Hold on, bro! Lions fans! <laughs> Hey, that's funny as hell because Michigan kicked our ass. Lions fans, I'm here today. I just want to say this. I've been letting all you lame ass niggas rock out in my comment section. I've been letting y'all do y'all thing. All the little trolling comments. Oh, Brad Holmes is so great because you beat the Jaguars and you beat the Packers and you beat the Bears. You just beat up a bunch of bum ass teams. Uh, but listen, this game today, this game today will shape the direction of my channel for the rest of the year and from the off season. If you guys remember, I used to be a very pro-positive Detroit Lions channel when I believed, all right? I ain't gonna sit here and act like I fucking believe in these bum-ass niggas just for the sake of entertaining you losers. That's why I ain't been making videos. But today, from the bottom of my heart, oh, hold on, ignore it. <laughs> from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my heart, man, I want us to win today. Let me hide that. I w Let me hide that some more. Because CJ Stroud, you son of a bitch. Anyway, fuck it. Anyway, from the bottom of my heart, I want us to beat the Vikings' ass. So I can, we beat a 10 2 football team. The Vikings have beaten us nine out of the last 10 games. So I, I'm not holding my breath. But I got my twisted T, and I'm here for today's game. Now, y'all been trolling me. I ain't been making videos. I ain't been commenting. Because I don't fucking feel like it. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Listen, you win today, all right? Now, plenty talk. Aubrey Pleasant was fired. We went 4-1 since he was fired. Okay? J I just want y'all to remember, Aubrey Pleasant got fired because they couldn't guard Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. okay? Since then, you ain't even played Christian Watson. He, he didn't even play uh, for the Packers. Nor Randall Cobb didn't play. The, the Packers were missing their top three wide receivers. The Bears don't have wide receivers. The Jaguars, Christian Kirk. Ooh! Christian Kirk and Marvin Jones. Ooh! So, no. Listen, I don't give a... No. So, stop. 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 Everything I said about Aubrey Pleasant, I still feel the same way about. It was a scapegoat hire. You're, the, the schedule is trash, and you beat up a bunch of trash. Had to take. The Giants... Yeah, they 7 4 1. Darius Slayton is their number one fucking receiver. Shut up! <laughs> but today, you go out here, you lock down Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, you kick TJ Hawkins' ass, you shut down Dalvin Cook, you walk out of Fort Field with a victory over the 10 and 2 motherfucking Vikings. That'll make the Lions 6 and 7. It is a big difference between being six and seven and being uh, five and eight. And guess what? I'll be back posting regularly, and we'll be a lot more positive because uh, because I'll be wrong, all right? And I I'm praying to Jesus that I'm wrong, but y'all gotta get off my nutsack, bro. All, we you beat nobody. You beat nobody. You beat nobody. Like 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 some somebody comment. I just blocked them. So, but somebody commented, hey um uh. You guys still listen to this idiot? He said, Brad Holmes. What? 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 Kirby Joseph went from a superstar against the Green Bay to the lowest defender, uh, lowest rated defender in the NFL against the Bears. And he ain't made a single play. So, no, stop hyping up one fucking game. The only one game we gonna hype up is today. Today is where legends are motherfucking made. Kirby Joseph, put TJ Hawkinson on his ass. Jeff Okuda, lock up Justin Jefferson. Uh, 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 my boy, Jerry Jacobs, lock up Adam Thielen. Linebackers, Malcolm Rodrigo, James Houston, Alex Anzalone, uh, defensive lineman. Uh, no, 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 fuck that. Y'all gotta bottle up Dalvin Cook. Aiden Hutchinson, James Houston, uh, 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 Ali McNeil. You niggas gotta get some pressure on Kirk Cousins. Today is the day. Today is the day. This is the only game that matters. All right, so all the motherfucking cards are on the table. All right, it's let's go. I'm hype. Y'all think y'all niggas be think y'all trolling me as if it's a bad thing when my team wins. Shut the fuck up, nigga. It's a great thing when my team wins. I'm happy we beating up on the bum ass niggas we beating up against. But guess what? Just because you beat up on a bunch of bums. Don't mean all that fanboy shit y'all be talking is coming to fruition, my boy. Now, today, today, 
You win this game today at home today? You win this game today? And the future looks a little better. Well, not the future, but this season, you know what I'm saying? Six and seven is a lot different than being five and eight, especially in this type of playoff push we got going on where we got four teams from the NFC East in the playoffs. So we got to get some of them niggas out of there. I don't think anybody in the NFC East is going to lose eight games or nine games, right? I don't think anybody in the NFC East is going to lose nine games. So if nobody in the NFC East is going to lose nine games, um, that means the Lions can't lose more than eight games, right? So the Lions got to get in there at 10 and 7. And if they beat the Vikings, there's a good chance I think they can run the table with the rest of the schedule. Unless Aaron Rodgers is playing for a playoff spot, then I don't think we stand a chance against Green Bay. I, and I know what y'all talking about. Oh, oh, his record against teams over five games. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. You beat the Arizona Cardinals. Who, who flopped down this stretch. And we all remember what happened to the Cardinals. They they were really good, and then they were really bad down the stretch. You beat the Green Bay Packers after they benched Aaron Rodgers at halftime, and then you beat the motherfucking Giants, who are now 7-4-1, should be 7-5. But it's okay, though. Just win today, baby. Just win today, baby. That's all I got to say. I'll see y'all at halftime, and I'll see y'all after the game. Win today. It's all that matters.